guys you're welcome back so we're gonna be checking out how this church youth leader accepted islam the story behind him accepting islam as a youth church leader so let's check it out it was at the airport where my mom held me in a close embracing hug and she prayed a prayer over me which i will never forget mm. she prayed a prayer to a new god allah whom i did not know back oh. then she prayed to this allah to send a very big angel with me to guide and to protect me upon my journey. Ashraf Schneider was born and raised in a Christian family. Since childhood, he was taught a lot about the stories of the prophets. Plus, his father was a pastor. Mm. So since childhood, it has been embedded in him to follow in his father's footsteps and become an influential person in the church. I was born and raised in a Christian family. My father was the pastor of a church. My mother, a beautiful singer within the choir. Hmm. Wow. From a very young age, I've been nurtured by the names of the prophets, from Abraham and his sons to Noah upon his ship, Moses with his remarkable courage to guide his people to safety. It was from this very young age that I was met with a burning desire to follow in my father's footsteps, to become a religious leader. And so, I dedicated myself to this cause, and I soon acquired a platform upon which I could share my passion for God. As an adult around the age of 20, Schneider became an influential person in the church where he lived. He became the youth leader of the church. His independence emerged and he tried to delve into Christianity as much as he could. But at the same time, many questions arose in his mind. He asked the church leaders there at the time, but they could not answer his questions. And as my independence grew, religious freedom took hold. I started asking questions to my religious leaders which were often left unanswered. Yeah. It was during this time that my mother also started reading more regarding Islam and she eventually embraced Islam. What happened upon her journey is that she wanted to write an article for a local magazine regarding Hajj. And so she approached a Muslim man to write this article for her. So she took it upon herself to start composing this article. And as she studied more regarding Islam, she fell in love with this beautiful religion. Yeah. When his mother converted to Islam, he was very disappointed with her decision, but he still loved her. As a church missionary, of course he opposed his mother wanting to write an article on Hajj. They often argued about religion, but he could not stop his mother from making up her mind. He looked for other ways, and when he gathered with the church youth group at his home, he always turned up the volume of the music in his house in the hope that his mother would convert back to Christianity. But I still remember during this time that whenever we would have youth group and we would do praise and worship in our house, I would turn up the music just a little bit, lo a little bit louder to try and call it back to Christianity. He did many things to bring his mom back to Christianity okay. but still failed. He felt unworthy to be a church youth leader because he had a Muslim mother. Because of this feeling of failure, his faith in the church began to wane oh, and he decided to look for another job. He flew to Australia to become a photographer and marketing person on a Royal Caribbean cruise ship. Before leaving for Australia, at the airport, his mother hugged him while praying for Allah to send angels to protect him on his journey. It was at the airport where my mom held me in a close embracing hug and she prayed a prayer over me which I will never forget. Yeah. She prayed a prayer to a new God, Allah, whom I did not know back then. She prayed to this Allah to send a very big angel with me, to guide and to protect me upon my journey. Besides praying to Allah, unbeknownst to him, his mother put an al Quran in his suitcase. Arriving in Australia, he opened his suitcase and saw a Quran that was already there. He also saw a message left by his mother in the suitcase. And so, I left for my flight, and I landed in Australia huh. and I got onto my ship and I opened up my bag and I realized that my mommy had left me with more than just a prayer. She left me with a copy of the Holy huh. Quran. And it's on the very first page of this book that she wrote a little note and she said that if ever I want to debate against Muslims one day, I need to understand what they believe. I need to know where they come from. What is their history? And so that makes sense to me. And with the love that I have for my mom within my heart, I dedicated myself to reading at least one page every evening. One page soon then turned into two, two into three, and I found myself completing the Quran from cover to cover. After reading the Quran until the end, he felt torn apart, 
His soul and body seemed to get a miracle. He was very lucky because his mother put the Quran in his suitcase. Now he got the answers to all the questions that had been in his mind. Hmm. His new life journey had begun. Now this is where my journey began. And what I had found within the beautiful Quran is that all these questions that I had throughout my life were answered. What is our purpose in life? Why is there evil within this world? Does God truly exist objectively, rationally? After all his doubts were answered, he felt satisfied. And now his mind and heart were determined to accept the truth that he had been doubting. Finally, he decided to make the ahadat. It was as if I've been reading a new revelation, as all these truths came to me and inspired within me the ability to wholeheartedly make my kalima and say that La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah that there is no God worthy of worship except for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Muhammad peace be upon him is his messenger. That's all for today. Mm, what's an interesting story but me I believe that um, your faith shouldn't be shaken no matter what other people or maybe somebody close to you is doing. If it's that somebody close to you has, you know, uh, I will not say backslide, somebody close to you has changed. Somebody close to you has changed. That doesn't mean you have to change. That's when you should be vibrant more. So, uh, him saying that since the mother, you know, converted to Islam, and, you know, because there was no way for him to change her, you no, know, he tried his possible best to, you know, um, distract her or make her change by playing, you no know, Christian song. I'm sure maybe Samo and the rest. But despite no matter what, me, I believe that um, if 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 you know that what you are in, you trust in what you have, then stick to what you have. But. Like he said, he said it is uh, it's like his faith was shaking, and he said through that, uh, you know, the mom gave him Quran when he traveled and everything. Then he found so many answers to, well, the same way he found his answers to the questions that has been bothering his mind. Me, I believe he could have found those answers to in Christianity, assuming he was patient enough to hold on. Oh, yeah, but I'm not saying that it was bad for him to convert, but I'm just saying that he shouldn't have used that as a reason for him to convert. So it was like his mom influenced him. So I me, mean, I believe that you cannot be totally influenced if you are not ready to. That was why he could actually, you know, leave and convert. But it was all cool. That was really a beautiful story. Since that's where he saw the light and that's where he has peace of mind. That's beautiful. That's that's so so beautiful. Amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, and comment. See you in the next one.